Tonight was the first city council meeting in Durham since the recent string of violence drive-by shootings that left two dead and several others injured. As our CBS 17's Crystal Price explains, leaders spent time talking about ways to end gun violence. The mayor last week called for stricter gun laws and for the city to continue working towards creating a public safety task force. But tonight, one city councilwoman called for the city to take more immediate action. It's been a rough week in Durham. Losing too many black lies, mamas is crying. There were at least seven shootings, several people hurt, and two people killed, including 24-year-old Carrie Graham, who was shot and killed last Monday at this bus stop near Liberty and Dillard Streets. We need to stop this black-on-black -black crime out here. At tonight's city council meeting. And I just wanted to make sure that we acknowledge that that fear is a part of that process. Deidreana Freeman shared startling statistics. As she said, 145 people have been shot from January 1st to September 30th, and there have been more than 500 reported shootings, something she says is not acceptable. I know we have the long-range plans of attacking root causes, which are commendable along community health and safety, uh, especially with the conversation we've been having around having a task force set up, but that's like, what, a year or so away, and these hurts and these harms are being caused right now. Tonight, she called for city council to listen to the chief's call to add more police officers and to add more resources to the Durham Parks and Recreations after school programs, as well as to other community organizations. And I really want to lean in on saying that we can do more. Mayor Schul says everything Councilor Freeman mentioned is important, and he acknowledged the need to add more resources to the community programs. Police can't do it alone. It's got to be a community effort, and I very much appreciate what you had to say. In Durham, Crystal Price, CBS 17 News.